We are in the bread truck right now and we are disassembling the starter, uh, the ignition. The ignition is having a problem. I'm pretty sure it's faulty. I checked with my boys over at Mill Supply and they do have the part. So I'm going to call them up, get an order sent out. I need an ignition sit switch and I need a new key cylinder. I'm just gonna get both of them new because my key cylinder, when I have the key in it, I can slide it out while the truck is running. That shouldn't happen. But I also got this package from Mill Supply. I've already pre-opened it so I didn't have to fiddle with it. But in the bag, they sent me a couple of exclusive Mill Supply carabiners. I love carabiners, so I'll definitely use these. They're great for van life. And then this is what I'm excited about. Oops. They also sent me out this bag that has a couple of mill supply pens. I have a bunch of these at this point. But I really did need a new mill supply hat. And I got two of them. So, mill supply. There we go. My old hat was looking really beat up. I wore it a lot and I washed it and it didn't fair, didn't handle very well. So I got me a new mill supply hat looking good. I'll definitely wear this hat a lot. And uh, I'm working on getting back on the road. Bread Trucker is going to be hitting the road soon. As soon as we get this thing started, getting it running and everything, we got some more upgrades to do to it. I got some stuff going on in the back. I have the under the sink area all taken apart. The ignition is out right now, but we just tested it and it is faulty. So we are going to order that stuff up from Mill Supply so we can get this bread truck back on the road. My buddy Rob here is uh, helping out with a bunch of work on this bread truck. He's worked on it in three states. That's a new record for people who have helped out on the bread well, truck. Well, other than you, right? Well, yeah, I've worked on it in many states, but uh, yeah. But Rob is... Uh, in need of some work he's a good guy if you are doing a build you have electrical you have things you don't know if you want some work done a van build or something like that hit me up rob uh is he he's mobile he's in florida right now so pretty much anywhere between here and the west coast we could get him out there so if you're doing a van build something like that you got a little bit of a budget hit us up we can uh we can get you all set up i just got some really good news in the mail i got a title for the bread truck it is officially converted to an rv it says vc on my title now which stands for van conversion so now this beautiful bread truck is no longer a commercial vehicle it is a recreational vehicle i got the title in the mail today i'm super excited it only takes four things to get all you need is your original title your proof of insurance your affidavit that says that you did the van conversion and your driver's license. You don't need an inspection in the state of Florida. So if you're in the state of Florida and they are requiring you to inspect your vehicle to get it converted to an RV, don't buy it. Ask for a manager, ask for a supervisor, because all it takes is a signed affidavit David, by you that says that you did the conversion and that's it. That's all it takes. There's only three things that it takes to convert a vehicle. Install a power inverter. If you have 110 volt electricity in your car, then that qualifies you as having a conversion. Or you can do propane. Boom. You can add in a propane line and that qualifies you as having a recreational vehicle. And the other thing is if you have plumbing, which also, boom, I have plumbing as well. So I had all three, but you really only need one to convert a commercial vehicle to a recreational vehicle. It will save you tons of money on your insurance. I went from paying $1,200 a year to paying $200 a year. That's a thousand dollar savings in a year to convert my step van to an RV. A little bit about my sponsor, Mill Supply. They sponsor my channel. They are the step van people. If you need parts, contact Mill Supply. They have a lot of parts for step vans. Uh, I just needed an ignition switch for mine. Uh, and a lock cylinder and they had them. They're sending them out. I don't have them yet. They'll be here soon but uh, Check them out if you got a step van Even if you don't have a step van if you have a muscle car an old classic car if you have rust re repair panels that you need hit them up uh, Try them out for snow plow parts for RV parts uh, Check them out for all sorts of car 
uh, car part needs that you might have. So check out Mill Supply. Thank you for sponsoring this channel. This bread truck is going to be getting on the road soon. We're doing a bunch of stuff right now to get it ready for the road, including getting it started. It's kind of a major thing. Oh, man. Look at all that freaking, all that dried, crackled yeah, that looks good. insulation. It's actually just the outer coating from the oil pressure uh, tube. Yeah. Which, you know, probably should be replaced. So what we got here, we, we, we were doing some diagnostics on the bread truck, trying to figure out the starter problem. And we came across this right here. The battery is disconnected right now. But these wires have no shielding on them at all right now. This one also has bare wire showing. It's just soft and gooey and you could peel it right open. I don't know if that contributed to the problem with the starter not starting, but we're fixing up all these little details and getting it put together better. This thing had been hacked together by many different people. So we're turn, starting to chase down all the loose ends, tie them up, delete them if they're not even being used. I found a wi live wire that was down here on the floor. I didn't even realize there was a live wire that just ran down here with an end on it that totally had power. So it was probably shorting out a lot because it gets wet on the floor down here sometimes. And uh, we're just, you know, going through everything. One major problem we had was this, uh, the ignition. The ignition was definitely bad. We got no power on the start position on the key. So I think that's mainly our big problem, but we are gonna go through and solve all these little problems that are going on too, you know, uh, they, they need attention. They need a little bit of love. The bread truck's getting some love right now. We are in the bread truck. We are under the sink, as you can see, that's the bottom of the sink in the kitchen. And I'm totally rebuilding the entire space that's underneath the old way I had it. There was a little bit of burlap hanging that uh, just kind of covered up. We had water storage on the floor, but there was a lot of wasted space in here without having cabinets and without having shelves. Our new refrigerator is gonna be going on this wet fender well right here. We're gonna be building a heavy duty drawer slide for it to go in and out of. And uh, yeah, we gotta finish this thing all off. I had four legs on this countertop and now I have none. I've taken them all of them out for right now. And we're going to rebuild the support system for under the cabinets. This is going to be way nicer. A lot more space, a lot more storage. And it'll really finish off this kitchen. Have some front, a front face on there that'll actually look good. So that that's exciting. I've been wanting to get this thing done. Plus I want that fridge on slides. My absolute obsession. Propagating mad philodendrons. I love it. Uh, this is a little aquarium my dad had he didn't want. So I was like, let me make a terrarium. So I have floating vines that are just going nuts. They're just growing so well. I love it. Isn't that beautiful? That is so nice. I could totally put that in like one jar and have it like draped down. Oh, I'm going to have so many of these. It's ridiculous. See, I put pool noodles on it. So that uh so that it would float I, I put pool noodles around the stems so it would float that is so rad bread truck needed new batteries so we got two new interstate batteries brand new one for each side this is gonna feel so much better on the road it'll be nice and uh reliable now i've been i've been uh scrounging along on the two optimas that i had in here for a long time and they've been dying slowly but they got me many many miles uh that one's from 2017 so it's not even that old i bought that one new for the bread truck ah boy i don't know yep we're gonna try it. See if this baby works. We got the ignition installed. We just put new two new batteries in. Let's give it a try. We got beeps.
That's a good thing. Yep. I don't know if I should actually start it, but it sounds nice and healthy. I don't know why you can't start it. Let's... Got it? Kill it, right? Yeah. Woohoo! The bread truck, it runs! Heck yeah! That was some nice, healthy starting too, man. shoes we found on. The only thing we didn't replace in the whole ignition system is the wire. <laughs> we took a bunch out. Thanks for uh, fixing the truck, man. Anytime, buddy. <laughs> yep. If you need your truck fixed, get Rob. <laughs> that is awesome. The bread truck is back. <laughs>